We will be now adding the new network interface card in the Proxmox virtual environment. And as you have already seen, this is right now how the configuration looks like. So let me go and add the network interface card because this is hot plug right now. The moment I add the network interface card into Proxmox, it will automatically detect. So let me go and add the network interface card and I will come back to you. So here you can see that the new network interface card, which you can see EN and then on the USB port it is there. So EN is of course Ethernet and then this is on the USB port. So you will get different addresses here depending upon what kind of device is connected. But in case you are not able to see the network interface card once you have connected it, just simply shut down the system. If you are having the PCI card, of course, you will need to turn off the server, install the network interface card, turn it on, and of course, it will be available here. But if it is a, a plug and play or if it is USB hot plug, you can simply insert the USB, connect the network cable, and that's it. Based on this, what configuration I have changed, what physical configuration I have changed, that I have added one more uh, physical network interface card, which is here. And now I want to connect this to this VMBR with this VMBR and physically again this is connected to the same network. There would be various reasons why we are connecting but right now this is the configuration. This VMBR is connected here, this VMBR is connected here and both are of course on the same physical network. This will be having the same IP addresses if we get through the DHCP server but first of all let me show you how we will configure that. We will go back again to Proxmox virtual environment. Now with this VMBR2 I will need to bridge this to the port of the new network interface card and I can also assign the IP address to this. It's optional of course because we are already having the IP address of Proxmox virtual environment but on this node also we can have it. Now for example if we are not able to access using this IP address we will be able to access using the new IP address. So first of all I will be bridging this to this particular port. So I will just double click this, copy this particular name of the network device. I will just keep it for the safe side here and for other one also I will paste it here. So these are two network interface cards. So one is having this name. I will copy this name and now I will go to VMBR2 which you can see in the diagram. I'll show you in the diagram in VMBR2. I need to point this to this particular network which has now this address. So I will just come here and in the bridge port I will paste that and click OK. Now you can see here both the physical ports are connected to the virtual bridges. I will apply yes. Now what is happening here of course these machines which are now connected to VMBR0 will be able to communicate to the external network also. So I will simply go here double click this I can assign the IP address which is as I mentioned optional but we will do it. We will do 10.11.12. Uh, other one was 40 so I will make 140 and I don't need to mention the gateway here because one gateway is enough so slash 24 and I will just show you while I ping this I will ping 140 which will not give any response until I press ok apply the changes ok now you will see we will start getting the response now this is from different physical adapter. You can see here for 140 the response is coming from here and for 40 response is coming from here. Now if I go back here to the virtual machines uh, which was here for example this was server 1 and in server 1 if I go to network here IP address was static. If I now change it to DHCP which means that it will automatically get the IP address from the PF sense. You can see here this is my PF sense or the router. It could be anything in your case. So here if I now start this and I will go here now to console and IP A. So you will see here the IP address is 10.11.12.153 and it is right now connected to VMBR2. So if I ping to external network ping google.com it should give me response. You can see here it is working fine. And I can also ping 10.11.12.1 which is here. This gateway is also giving the response because physically now this is connected. And if by any chance now for example if I, I have assigned the IP address here but if I go here 
to Proxmox node and if I click on VMBR2 and if I remove this link between the virtual bridge and the physical port, apply the changes, okay, you will see here a response will not come here, it will stop. Let me ping again, you will see here no response. So I will go back again to the network of the Proxmox virtual environment in VMBR2. I will even remove the IP address of this. I will just keep it uh, the standalone, which means that I will be using this mainly for the internal networking between some of the containers or virtual machines. And I will show you that how we can make the communication possible between this. Now, if you see here, we have two physical network adapters. One is not doing any job right now. Another is connected to VMBR0 because we have already disconnected this one. If I go back to the Proxmox virtual environment now, if I show you here VMBR2, which is virtual bridge, Linux bridge, this is created so that the virtual machines and containers can communicate between themselves using this bridge. So this bridge is like a virtual switch where you are connecting the virtual machines or container with this. And if this is connected to external network, then you will be able to communicate. Otherwise, communication between these will be possible. So if we recap what we have done now, we added the new network interface card which was here and then we linked it to the virtual bridge so that this virtual bridge will be able to communicate to external network and the internet and even the VMs which are connected to this virtual bridge will be able to communicate with the external networks. This was all about the Linux bridge. Now you are clear about it that you can create multiple Linux bridge. You can also link it to the physical port. So let us continue to next video and we'll see what is bond, why these are created, what are different modes of the bonds and what are the benefits of those bonds. Let us continue to next video.